everybody, it's Rebecca from Revenue. I'm here in a quiet street in Center City, Philadelphia to talk about stormwater. So I'm joined today by Laura Copeland from the Philadelphia Water Department. Hi, thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you for having me. So tell us more about what you do for the Water Department. Sure, so I'm the Public Relations Manager for the Philadelphia Water Department, and one of my primary responsibilities is media relations, and public outreach. Okay, so because we're talking about stormwater, we get this question a lot, and most people only see this on their, in one place, and that's on their water bill. So what is the stormwater charge that's on your water bill? Okay, so let's, let me try to explain it from the beginning. In an urban environment like Philadelphia, rain will fall on the ground and flow or run off into our storm, uh, sewer system. Okay. This water is called stormwater, or it's also referred to as stormwater runoff. So that often runs into the stormwater drains, which are all over the city. There's one just down from where we're standing, and people don't think about them, but they're pretty important. Absolutely. It's kind of like the infrastructure um, that controls traffic. It's the same kind of thing. It, it, it controls the flow of stormwater. So um, when water, when it rains and water fl- um, runs off your roof, it falls on your porch, your driveway, um, your steps, and that water has to go somewhere. So the stormwater drain helps that water flow the right way and also helps keep us safe. That's absolutely correct. Okay, and so how much does it cost to manage the stormwater system in Philly? Well, at this time, the cost is about $175 million per year. Okay. Absolutely. And. Um, I'm not sure if you know this, but we're required to manage stormwater by federal and state regulations. And that money helps maintain the vast network of over 6,500 pipes underground. Um, It also helps uh, protect the Schuylkill and Delaware rivers from harmful pollutants. And many Philadelphians know that the Delaware and Schuylkill rivers are our drinking water sources. So we want to make sure that they stay clean and safe. Does everyone pay the same amount of money? Well, I'm glad you asked that because that's a really good question and it's important for people to understand. So residents, yes, residents pay the same amount for stormwater management and that charge right now is $15.53 for non-residential customers and that includes businesses or commercial properties like hospitals, Mm -hmm. uh, parking garages or parking lots. Um, churches, any type of business, um, they pay based on their impervious area and their gross area. Now, when you're thinking about impervious area, think of roofs and driveways, anywhere where it's a hard surface and water can't soak into it. For gross area, just think of the size of your property or your lot. Okay, so so that would explain why even if you have a vacant property or just a lot that has a garage on it, You might not have water service on that property, but you still have a water bill. Absolutely. If water is running off your property and not soaking into the ground in your business and a resident, you're going to pay a stormwater charge. Okay. And so it's fall right now. Is there anything that we should tell folks about this time of year? Absolutely. When the, if, as you can see, this block has a lot of nice trees, and on those trees there's leaves, and the leaves in the fall will fall off onto the ground. We're just reminding customers to sweep up the leaves and not sweep up the leaves or garbage into the storm drains, mm-hmm. because storm drains are only for storm water. And people, a lot of people may not know that. A lot of people use them as uh, trash bins, and we just want to get that message out to not use them as trash bins. Um, sweep up the, uh, the, the dead leaves and the litter and just bag them up for collection. So just to recap, that means no trash and no leaves down those storm drains because it can it can flood. Absolutely. And it can cause a lot of damage and it can be it can inc- like residents can incur costs from that. That's that's correct. Um, what happens is if the storm drains if uh, get blocked meaning our sewers get blocked, and that can cause flooding, and that can Mm, cause dangerous street and road conditions. So we don't want that. We just ask people to bag up their leaves and any type of um, litter on the ground. If you see that on the ground, just bag it up and put it out for collection. This is really great information. Is there anything else you want to share with folks before we go? Absolutely. There's a number of great resources on the web. 
Um, we encourage people to visit our website at www.phila.gov forward slash water. Um, they can find a host of information about how to manage stormwater and how we manage stormwater. You can also call our hotline at 215-685-6300. You can ask any questions. We're available 24-7. And just for folks at home, we will put those lines in the in the either in the comments or on the bottom of the video. But it's www.phila.gov slash water. And then uh, you can always call 215-685-6300. And I'm super excited. Phila, Philadelphia Department of Water and the Department of Revenue are both share really great information online on social media. So check them out at Philly H2O and Phila Revenue. And also we encourage everybody to subscribe to our YouTube. We're sharing great videos just like this one. Um, and we want to thank everyone who's at home watching. And thank you so much, Laura, for coming out and talking to us. You're welcome. Have a great day. Bye.